Yeah, oh yeah, my Lucy, she's so talented. She really, she never, ever wants to practice, but she's so good anyway. She's so talented, you know. She doesn't even need to practice. That's the thing. Isn't that amazing? I tell her that she's lazy and stuff, but you know, her talent is so strong. She's just talented, I mean, you know. Other people need to work hard, but she's talented. <laughs> I don't know what to do. She's just so talented. She's so gifted. She's she's a lovely girl, my Lucy is. She she really is. I love her. She's amazing. She's an amazing talent and look all those kids who need to practice so much. She doesn't need that. I mean I tell her to practice, but she's just so talented. Hello dear parents, dear violin teachers, and dear all. Have you been in a situation where you thought that somebody's talented or even you thought about yourself that you're talented and because you or someone else is talented, you think they don't need to put as much work in as anybody else? Today I'm here to bust that myth. Talent doesn't exist. And this comes from someone who grew up as a prodigy. I was the little prodigy who everybody thought was amazing talent. I apparently didn't need to put as much work into anything I do, which is not true at all. Those labels, even if it's positive labels, they hurt your children and they hurt you. At some point I started believing in that, but I was very surprised about the fact that I was not happy at all. The fact that I was talented or gifted or so special and so amazing didn't make me feel happy at all. In fact, it put more pressure on me. It made me feel very, very unhappy, very insecure. And this is what I'm here to tell you today. Don't ever try to label your children, whether it's a positive or negative label, both hurt. When it's a positive label, you always try to live up to it and you're scared to lose it. And when you have a negative label, you kind of automatically live up to it and become that bad person. Because at some point you start thinking, oh, what's the point? I am that person, aren't I? So I highly recommend for everyone who is interested in this topic to read the book of Carol Dweck. It's called Mindset. It's about two different kinds of mindsets. One is the fixed mindset and the other one is the growth mindset. And people with a fixed mindset believe that they have a certain amount of ability which they can never improve. And people with a growth mindset think that anything is possible. People with a growth mindset are the happier people. Those are the high achievers who never ever wanted to be really high achievers. They just achieve because it's fun, they enjoy the process and people with a fixed mindset always want to achieve something and get extremely frustrated when they fail because they look at failure as a dead sentence. You know, it's something that tells you everything about that person. Okay, he failed, he's a failure. But failing doesn't mean that you're a failure. It just means that you're learning. It's very important for our dear children not to label them. For example, if you're really happy with the way your child's playing the violin, the best thing to say would be, great work, well done, see how your hard work pays off, instead of saying you're talented. You know, because saying that you're talented is something fixed, something that you don't have influence on. You can't influence it, whether you're talented or not, but you can influence your results by putting more hard work in. So this is the message of the day. Remember to comment down below. Let me know what mindset you grew up with. I recently noticed that I grew up with a fixed mindset, which very, very often hurt me in the process of my whole life. And I also noticed that lots of parents do that. All of us do that. We label ourselves, we label our children, we label our friends, our colleagues. It's insane. So we hurt each other and the worst thing is our children as well. So stop labeling them and sure, if you're happy with their work, you can say, see how your hard work paid off. And if you're not happy with their achievement, you can say you can put more work into it and then you can play it better. Or perhaps you come up with your own ideas of how to word it better. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about it. And I'll see you again soon.